Yo, what's going on guys? It's Abs here and welcome back to another Gears of War lore video. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the Locust Deviant enemies. So as always, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for everything Gears of War related. And yeah, let's dive straight into it. So as we know, Ukon had a laboratory and it was basically the private research laboratory that was located within Nexus in the inner hollow of Mount Kadar. But of course, after Emergence Day, he abandoned that laboratory in Nexus and he set up new laboratories on the surface. And of course, Ukon, he was an absolute madman. And I want to go more into the law of what he created. And in this episode, it's the Deviant Enemies. So the Deviants were sprung from the demented mind of the locust geneticist Ukon, who was continuing his experimentation by harnessing the power of emotion. Ukon found that controlled injections of emulsion into his foot soldiers resulted in highly powerful units like the Disciples and the Zealot. However, as any scientist will tell you, not every experiment has perfect results. So these deviant locusts, they were more powerful than the regular locust and more savage, but they were a lot less obedient. So for the locust, there's pros to that, which of course, the more powerful, the more stronger, the more savage, but a lot less obedient that is quite worrying for the locust as well in case they go rogue or don't listen to instructions and things like that so firstly we have the deviant drone so the traditional locust drone who is of course called to the locust army and they use their hammer burst assault rifles with deadly force at practically any range but the deviant locust drone features all of the slaying power of the regular drone so it has the exact same attributes but they also have the bloodthirsty aura which basically gives nearby locust healing from the damage caused by their attacks. So they basically buff their nearby comrades. We also have the Deviant Wretches, which are small, fast and mobile. Wretches attacking packs using their ferociousness and short range melee attacks to overwhelm your troops. And of course the standard Wretches are a handful already and of course are quite annoying. Monkey dogs as Benjamin Carmine would say. <laughs> but this is the Deviant Wretch, which basically wields an aura that buffs nearby wretches with raging and this gives them a boost to evasion so just like the deviant drones the deviant wretches basically buff their nearby wretch counterparts as well we also have the deviant cantus which is pretty much my favorite deviant enemy just because of how badass he actually looks and the cantus of course is the locust priest that inspires and bolsters the locust troops and their impact on the battlefield is of course not to be underestimated so the Deviant Cantus unleashes a blood-curdling scream that interrupts cog soldiers and basically knocks them out of cover. And if that's not enough, the Deviant Cantus has the normal Cantus attributes as well, which basically allows the Deviant Cantus to chant and raise downed locust enemies and get them back into the fight. We also have the Deviant Locust Sniper drones, and of course they use their long shot to pin your units down. And of course the Locust Snipers are not to be underestimated, and of course Anthony Carmine learned that the hard way back in Gears of War 1 but the Locust Deviant Sniper also looks to pin down your units resulting in a debuff that makes your squad easier to hit by the other Locust troops so the Locust Deviant Snipers are even deadlier than the normal snipers so there's no point in hiding from these guys basically you just have to take them out of the fight as quick as possible and then we also have the Deviant Locust Disciple as well so the Locust Disciples are an amped up version of the Locust Drone thanks to the biofuel emulsion pumping through their veins. So the Locust Disciple in simpler terms is like the Locust Drone on steroids but the Deviant Disciple is that times two because it's the amped up version of the amped up version because it's the amped up version of the Locust Disciple who is the amped up version of the Locust Drone essentially. So these Deviant Disciples they throw poison mines which work like proximity mines and they explode for moderate damage and they also apply a debuff that reduces the damage of cog units caught inside the poison mine. So these are the deviant enemies that we know of from Gears Tactics but when I just think about it I think Ukon did experiment on a lot more locust troops or well, maybe we'll find out about them later down the line in the Gears universe because you have to remember even though Ukon died in 1 AE his troops and experimentations they lasted the whole locust war. So what if there were Deviant Boomers or Deviant Theron Guards and that is negative space if Gears of War will expand on that later down the line. That's just a little theory from me. 
But yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and comment down below what you think of the Locust Deviant enemies and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be sure to check out my playlist for all Gears of War lore content and follow me on Twitter at KingAbsTV. Hope you guys have a nice day and I will catch you on the next one.